biodiversity. It's got a bad rap in some circles and is misunderstood in others, but what does it actually mean? All the word is referring to is how many different living things are in an area and how much genetic variation is present within all these living things. For example, if a farm has sheep, cows and llamas, it has greater biodiversity than one with just sheep. But if all of the animals became inbred, this would lower the biodiversity. In nature, a high level of biodiversity means that the ecosystem is more resilient to things like drought and diseases or storms because different plants and animals can survive in different conditions. For example, if a disease spreads through a population with little genetic diversity, then it's likely all the individuals will suffer the same fate. But if there's lots of genetic variation, some individuals might be resistant to the disease, so they'll keep the species alive. Then, at an ecosystem level, if there are lots of prey species and one goes extinct because of the disease, then there's still plenty of food for the predators. If there's only one prey species and it goes extinct, then the predators will as well. In New Zealand, when people say biodiversity, they usually mean native biodiversity. That is, the number of native species in an area and all their genetic variation. This is different to exotic species, which have come to New Zealand with people, either deliberately or accidentally. Usually, native species play a more positive role in the environment because that's where they evolved. They're unlikely to become pests or have negative effects on the ecosystem around them. Many of the native species in New Zealand are unlike anything anywhere else in the world, each playing a vital role in our natural environment. They're also a huge part of our identity. Who would we be if there were no Kiwi? That's why loads of people are trying to protect our native biodiversity to keep it around for future generations.